Hi there again, everybody. Martin Tyler along with Alan Smith for your commentary today on this match, which is going to have an extra factor to it, the heavy rain that's been falling. Yeah, the ball is going to skid across the surface. I did used to like these kind of conditions because you get one or two mistakes. If you're on your toes, it's one or two goals about for strikers. And the match today, Crawley Town against Coventry City. It's just a matter of time which game will confirm the title for them. They've led from start to very near the finish. Oh, what a team we've witnessed this season. A, a talented one and also one that's full of experience and concentration. That's been the word that's uh, been at the forefront to maintain this huge gap. This is the lineup for the home side. Good forward play from them. Challenges for the ball. Crawley Town in excellent form. They certainly showed it in their home match, their last match against Gillingham. Yeah, the result never looked in doubt in that 2-0 win, and uh, I don't think it would be in doubt for them today. I think they win. And he passes back to the keeper. Moving forward with some danger to the opposition, now they're here. Oh, good through ball. Good clean tackle. Quick header, found a teammate. That's a good idea. With Saw the goal and went for it. The big hitters have hit again. They go in front and with their attacking prowess, no one's surprised here. It's just a matter of who's going to score the goals. You know they are going to score, and they've got so many different ways of breaking down the opposition. It's the kind of goal that forwards love, actually, because it rewards their ability to follow in their anticipation. Yeah, it ends up being a simple-looking goal, but it wasn't. As you say, it was about anticipation. And that has opened the scoring, 1-0 here. Here's a goal from Walsall. It's a goal for Wigan Athletic. 16 minutes played, 1-0. Cheers, Alan. There's some potential in this move, and he could get away here. And that ball belongs to the goalkeeper. That's safely away. Penalty at Portsmouth. It's a penalty for Portsmouth. He's put the ball down on the spot. Little run, and he slipped and he screwed the ball wide. Didn't even make the goalkeeper make a save. 23 minutes played. It remains nil-nil. Oh, interesting news again from Alan McInally. Thanks, Alan. Could be dangerous. Well defended, not just getting across, he thought quickly as well. Go. Well, let's see what the ref's going to do. For the ref, a decision, and the decision is yellow. I don't think anybody, least of all the player, can have any complaints about that. What we've got here is a chance for the home team to do the double over their opponents today, Alan. Yeah, they made a statement, Martin, didn't they, with that earlier win on away territory, and it was a really good performance. To Jones. And he's got the ball away from him with the tackle. He's coming forward, and he's tried his shot from... The shot's hit the post! It's good play until they got that challenge in. Goal news from Swindon. It's a second goal for Swindon Town. 36 minutes played, 2-0. Thanks, Alan. In with the chance. And they have scored. And they do lead now by two. And they've worked very hard for this. It should get them across the line at the end of the match. We'll see. Well, the keeper, he is just flat-footed and he can only admire that, the way he's hit it first time.
starting at 2-0. Just worried about the rain only in that it's uh, impairing a bit our visibility of the proceedings out there on the pitch. Yeah, we're nice and dry up here, but uh, unlike the players, uh, who will be pretty wet after five minutes. Great chance! Well, he's turned it onto the frame of the goal. It comes out off the goalkeeper. He's going to try his luck. Terrific stop. Trying to thread it through here. The goal for this shot has indicated there will be a minimum of Well, that looked promising, but he's been stopped. And there goes the whistle for half time. And the scoreline is 2 0. Well, we're going to get some thrills in the second half. We're going to get some spills, that's for sure, because it's still very wet out there and there's no sign of the uh, weather taking a turn for the better. Looking for an opening with some good control build-up. Shot on! Maybe the conditions we've got to take into account here. This uh, very wet pitch just put him off his balance. Yeah, the ball's skidding about too, and uh, maybe it slipped off his foot. It's so wet, that ball. A goal from uh, Walsall. It's a second goal for Wigan Athletic. It's been scored by Nick Powell. He steered the... It's a useful position, this, for the free kick. That was an easy decision for the ref. When you attempt to slide tackle like that, you've got to time it perfectly, and he didn't. The free kick taker got very nearly from the free kick. Don't think he could have hit that one much better. Wigan Athletic playing in front of Alan McAnally today. Just a quick line from him. I'm sorry I had to cut him short. A Wigan goal. And the score is 2-1. Attacking well here. Got to be. What a fine save. on one possession back with that tackle to Jones news of a goal from Swindon it's a third goal for Swindon Town 60 minutes played 3-0 cheers Alan it's a neat pass here's the chance terrific stop well, that's gone behind it'll be a corner and there was danger but he's cleared it Building steadily here, keeping possession. The shot's on! Oh, the losing team are in trouble here as they nearly shipped another goal. Well, now they've won the ball back in the middle of the park by intercepting that pass. And that will be a goal kick. Supported there as he can... Head it on to someone who's waiting to receive it. Oh, he's through. A little too eager to get in behind the opposition, caught offside. Defence squeezed, they knew they caught their man off. Well, this attack has got a bit of menace to it. And now the shot! Very good start. Up here. Letting the shot go. Credit for taking on the shot. Well, what a good chance that was for him. By his standards, that's the glaring miss. The officials are a bit concerned with the heaviness of the rain half an hour or so ago. 
they're always concerned whether the ball can be moved freely and whether it's safe to play in that respect. Yeah, but I think all the fans, some of whom were getting a bit wet, they love to see it, the sliding tackles coming in on a, a slick surface. Reed is coming forward with some danger. Nicely played through ball. And shoots! Fine save he's made there. And he's not let the ball escape his grasp. Wonderful chance, they score! I think a manager loves that kind of goal because it was a real team effort the way they moved the ball about and once it came to the finish, it was an unerring effort. Well, that's put them further in front and nicely taken. Certainly was, and uh, they seem to be heading for a comfortable lead here. given them a comfortable situation here, 3-0 as the game gets underway. It's 82 minutes played now. I see a substitute coming on for the away team here. Goal news involving Portsmouth. It's a second goal for Portsmouth. Four minutes remain, 2-2. Two -two. Thank you very much, Alan. chosen to add on four minutes that's a great interception now they've got the chance to push forward from this deepish position there's only a minute to go he might be through shot on delightful touch to score the goal Well, that really has finished the job perfectly. They've dominated the match. Yeah, ruthless. They weren't going to go easy on the opposition. Thoroughly professional performance. It's turning out to be a, a comfortable game, this 4-0. It's a final whistle that confirms promotion. They've worked really hard to get into this position. They've had to work really hard in this game, but they've done it. They're up. And you can see what it means to the players, the supporters, the management. They're on the pitch, hugging the players now, and it's a, a great team effort here. Well, it's been a long, long and a tough campaign as well. And uh, no wonder they are ecstatic down there, because they've stuck together. They've had one or two low points when things have worked against, but they've kept together as a team to get to this point. Well done to everybody. That's a good